Um, so there are, it's, it's very intertwined and to say tonight, or to, for me to say tonight, uh, I think it would be unfair in a way, would we sell it? Would we unbundle that whole thing? We might, it's probable, but it would have to be on the right circumstances where their joint development agreement would have to be reworked. And we would certainly hope that if that happened, it was in the context that still there was a grocery operator or somebody coming to the Highland Square area in that whole rework of that agreement. So Albrecht is still legally under contract to build a grocery store. Still. We are under contract. You can use your personal we legally, on the joint development agreement, <coughs> correct me, I've got two agreements here. Um, the we, when that joint development agreement closes and these parcels exchange and everybody owns the land that they're on today, that moment in time clicks our timeline to be legally obligated to build a grocery store on that triangle parcel. Well, no, the building, building suitable building. for a grocery store. Building. building suitable for a grocery when store. When is Excuse that me. date? We have not yet closed the joint development agreement. It Why must not? be written into your agreement, though, a date? There must be a time frame in your agreement? No time frame in your agreement? There were contingencies that need to be agreement. met. And, and you have a written joint agreement with the city that doesn't have any time frame? It's open-ended. No, it, it has. We okay, we, basi we feel we basically met the obligations on this part of the development to close the joint development agreement. Those segments of the joint development agreement to allow then the let's say the second phase of it, which relates to the triangle parcel, to kick into gear. Right. So it's a process what, what more is, than a date. There's a, there's a closing process, and the that's the timeline was dictated about when things were done. On this so where are we process. in the process? We we are in the process of. Where are we? Where? Be from between the beginning and the end. Where are we? We think we're close to the end. Close to the end of the beginning. Close to the end of the beginning. And are there little yes. mar benchmarks that kick off when the end begins? There is a way to get to the end. I'll give it a We're We're That time, you know, these benchmarks that she's talking about. Will it be made known to us so that we can prepare for what you are going to give us and be able to well, then uh, comment on it? Because it concerns the community. Oh, no, no, no. We would, we would never go ahead and build. It would be crazy for us to build a 6,400 square foot structure for a grocery That's store and have question. no operator. We would never do that. Integrity. I'm asking to find out where you're coming from as far as integrity is concerned. Is this going to be something that is done behind this community? Has, has, <laughs> what, has what has been done to date in Highland Square been behind up closed doors after six meetings from years before and forums today? Much of it has. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yes. 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 All right. I may disagree with that. We have a council of the agreement with the council. Have a joint agreement then? It's on the next step. Who's got to perform next for the next step? 75% complete. Who's got to do the next step for the next 25% to uh, on? It's all with the English position, I believe, that our operations have filled the necessary requirements. We're waiting for the city to close on the joint agreement. What do you want the city to do? Basically, close. Close on the joint agreement. Which of the two do they actually have to do? What, what steps? Does that they would. Pay money, build something for you. Right, they, we would execute the. We would do the land swaps. We would give the, the library their deed to their property. We would give the city their deed to the parking lot. Money you would change. That's not they, They're paying for the raw cost of the land right. that we have. That's part of the. the you're waiting for the cash. Well, we're waiting for the closing. Yeah. We're waiting for the city to be ready to close. That okay. Like any closing, company. there's an exchange oh, okay. of property and it's all it is. money and you know, obligations. So what's the city not doing or why won't they do it? Yeah. Yeah. What's the city not doing? Bureaucracy. <laughs> they, well, they, basically, they basically want the grocery store issue resolved before they want us to close the joint development agreement. I see. The, the technical reality of the joint development agreement doesn't call for that to happen for this portion of the joint agreement that we're talking about to close, because as I just said, and, and they kind of backed me up, the obligation to build that 6,400 square foot store doesn't start until this portion of the joint development agreement is closed. Then the time meter starts to tick. 
right? The city says, yeah. But it's a, well, a little bit, yes. They have an odd, we have, I would call it an honest difference of agreement. As to they want to have, or the mayor would like to have, the grocery issue more resolved, more defined, more concretely moving ahead before he is willing to say, all right, we will close, we the city will close our share of the joint development agreement that's been out there and ready to close for quite a while. So let's say, let's, let's conceive that $6,500 $6, square foot first store is an impossibility given the cost per square foot, given the construction cost, all that. Then what? We just sort of go around and around and around? No, then you need to go like you're doing here to talk about menus that are alternatives to a strict grocery store definition. Because everybody's got a different definition to some extent. Okay, buy food. <laughs> okay. And then to, and then that takes you to okay, what if you if you build consensus around that, that takes you to what kind of footprint do I need or do we need, you need, to have that happen? And then that takes you to is it still possible to do on the triangle? Or is it necessary to do it elsewhere in Highland Square? When it becomes necessary or more feasible or functional to do it elsewhere in Highland Square, then you've really got the city that needs to get involved. Because we only are kind of, if you wanted to call the word controlling, the center, the triangle parcel, or a party to that. But if you go across the street and you talk about uh, Mary Coyles and their lot, or you talk about two turtles and taking that down and building a store there, or whatever you're talking about, or even what Chuck was talking about earlier, those are those are literally and obviously parcels outside of our control or purview, right? So you need, we need, all of us need <coughs> city involvement in that kind of moving off of one site to another because this one, because because the Consensus and the focus took us from the triangle to something else, and so the triangle becomes less of a part. If we built somewhere beside, or they built somewhere beside the triangle, that then excuse the performance of the triangle. It, it obviously changes the that element of the development agreement as to us building a grocery store. We would still want to help develop the triangle in some other different form. It could be a great retail incubator or something like that, or be really cool, something that could really work well on that triangle parcel that plays to several different fronts, so to speak, on the street. So it would still fit into the overall development of Highland Square. It just would take on a different role because it's not the grocery site anymore. That's how the equation. But you could close. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I just wanted to say, from what I'm hearing right now, it, it basically seems like a, a grocery uh, a company that owns grocery stores historically <coughs> entered into an agreement with the city to build a grocery store on what sounds like what you're saying is maybe the worst possible place that you could build a grocery store. <laughs> so I just want to say, and I heard earlier about the property on Portage Fat, uh, I might be biased in the south, south end of Highland Square, but I think that that's a much, uh, uh, much better location for our area would so be the property on the bottom of the Highland Square move is much larger. I think we should start discussing something like that. It, it, it seems like this has been going around around from the last time the at least the first meeting at the church on uh, on the West Exchange. It was almost two years ago, and we're still saying the same thing. Uh, so I, I just think I just wanted to go out and say that I think that this is obviously a bad location. I, I can't let that go. Um, I'm not opposed to not looking at other sites, but uh, I don't want it left in anybody's mind here that uh, it was unanimous that that Portage Pass site is a good site. It's not. It's going to be right across from the new school. Uh, it, it is limited in size as well. And um, it's right behind my house, and it's not the <laughs> uh, So we won't be talking about tearing down houses on our, on Elmore or Bloomfield. We're just, you know, that's not going to happen. Do you speak for that entire neighborhood? Do you speak for that entire neighborhood? No, I'm speaking for myself. Well, there you go, then. You're one house well, out of many. I'm simply saying, and if I do not want it to be understood, that, that was a unanimous agreement. Everyone's Nobody said it was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely.